Can you guys smell this? I'm wafting. Yes. I'm wafting. <laughs> I can't, I get a, yeah. Do you feel like, are you getting energy? This is one of the new Lifeline pens. Okay. And there's a few different scents here. And the funny thing is these have gone around the office because somebody buys one and we everybody's all buy like, them. What, is that? I one. what did that one smell like? And they come in these little tubes if you want to keep it, you know, amongst your desk drawer and not smell them. So, but they have essential oils and you release the level of oils by scooting these little guys down. So I just released four different mm. scents, but they're all in that citrusy family. So kind of boost your energy a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's really fun. Um, the pens twist, they do write very smoothly. They do. They do. Being and a pen snob. Like, yes. It, it, it's and I a just nice thought, pen. you know, people might be looking for a gift for that hard to buy, kind of too big for toys, but not right. big enough for electronics kid. Yeah. Yep. And I thought that's really cool. And they come from the same company, these journals. Now check these oh, okay. out. I opened this one up, but here's another blue like green. Oh. And you'll like this one. Look that what you can so do with fun. it. It's like a game, right? And, <laughs> and you can you squish, like them. squish them down. Yeah, oh show my these gosh. guys what you can do. She's having I'm too just, much fun. I'm having too much fun. You just kind of <laughs> squish the little. Yeah, they're like little water the bees. You squish them. But the journal inside is really nice. nicely done. The cover is kind of this little faux oh, leather. Mm -hmm. um, it elastic shuts. And I just thought, what a cool little gift ribbon. that maybe people yeah. don't know is Very out there nice. for yeah. that teen tween level person that, um, you know, might be less than enthusiastic yeah. with something that's and a little too young. Very sensory. Yeah. Very, sensory very sensory, but also encouraging kids to write mm -hmm. their thoughts and, yeah. you know, process emotions, all those things that those teen tweens do. So I actually bought do. a journal and a pen for my niece that's in college, so, and she loves oh, it. College. Oh, college. Well, lovely. and I can tell you, Gemma, who is, what is she now, 12? She's right. one of the granddaughters here at the office was going nuts for these pens. And I just imagine her giving them to all of her friends yes. for Christmas gifts and things oh, like yes. that. So I started thinking like how great, so one of them is a calm. Mm -hmm. So like lavenders, eucalyptus, very calming. Like for that kid that has test anxiety or something mm -hmm. or, or just gets really anxious. Yeah, idea. just kind of like brains them down mm -hmm. a little bit. And, and it's 100%. <laughs> Pure oil. They are right. natural. Is it, natural. it is all natural. Okay. There's a little QR code you can, I, I clipped on it because we were okay. all wondering what yeah. is where, in these where does things. It come right. from? Yeah. yeah. And they, real quick, there's a, it's from the Melissa of the Melissa and Doug fame. Hmm. Um, this is what she's doing these days. Okay. I love that. Kind of cool. Yes. So we're going to move into some yeah. history. Uh, the, these ones are new this year. This is the level 3A. Um, and it's covering mi early middle ages. Um, it's very nice. specific. It's very specific. So what were levels um, one and two? Um, at the ancients leading up, up to, to this. middle ages. Okay. And this is classical. This is very uh, classical, okay. yes. And so, and it's a one book for your, for your student, one book for the teacher. The teacher has the student reduced pages in it oh, nice. with little, um, kind of guidance points. Mm -hmm. You also get all the footnotes that are in the book as well, mm -hmm. and you'll get the answers to all of the, the work that the student is doing in their very nice and beefy is, work text. This looks <laughs> consumable yes. for the student. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so, and they're just the beautiful pictures in there. Uh, the, the next level will be the uh, late Middle Ages. And kind of with the timeline with Classical okay. Academic Press, who's mm -hmm. the publisher, this leads up very nicely into then their Humanitas. Okay. Which we've yeah. talked about yeah. in our previous yeah. video. What age group is this? Specifically, three is about that sixth, seventh, eighth grade. So you're looking at that middle school range okay. for kind of and this And this level. would be a year long? This is a, okay. um, this is a semester. So then okay. 3B would, would be... be the next and, semester. And that's coming yep, out. Yep. Okay. And the teacher's book has the wonderful way to uh, schedule everything out. And nice. so it's, yeah, it's just very nice. I loved how just compact everything is. You know, you don't yeah. have to have everything all of these you books. Need is... Yeah, it's okay. these two books. Well, and there's like so that. much about the discussion with the classical methodology, and mm -hmm. this walks you through that process. So if you're new to it as a parent, Classical Academic mm -hmm. Press has made it very friendly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, but okay. then that also brings something else to the table. Okay. Right. Uh, talking like, about that classical it? methodology, this one is from Classical Historian. And it is a DVD seminar. Comes in a nice little box, this book and the DVDs. 
This is for parents. Okay. Um, it is a six to seven hour long training for parents with a workbook. So the parent has some homework a little bit okay. <laughs> to do to teach the parent how to teach classical methodology. Because that classical methodology sure is very all helpful. about discussion, you right. know, and that can be intimidating it sometimes. It can be. Well, it? right. And I think a lot of parents are more comfortable teaching American history, perhaps, than world history. Right. It feels like there's just so mm -hmm. much content. You know, America, we're not that old, right? Right. So it's it's less content. This is a lot of content and taught I, chronologically. I see yeah. there's six DVDs that it gives you an introduction to the history mm -hmm. and the how to do the discussion time with the Socratic method, yeah. teaching writing and history. So there's a lot yeah. there. And the parent themselves then is practicing everything before then they ask oh, their students nice. okay. to do it. And classical historian um, has lots of little history units. They do mm -hmm. American, they do an ancient and things like that. And this seminar um, gives you kind of a leg up in teaching those. It's not required to do okay. their to do their other programs. But it just kind of- extremely helpful. Yes. It, mm -hmm. Fills you with confidence mm -hmm. to yeah. be able to teach your students in a classical way. Yeah, I can definitely see And so that. I could see using this for a parent to introduce classical methodology mm -hmm. to anything. Do you know, is this currently only available in a DVD for now? I think the publisher site might have um, we can a, look into a that. streaming, but I think it, you have to yeah. sign up for on their platform with like a special account. Um, like they have an academy type thing that the streaming has found. Otherwise, it's DVD. A okay. lot of companies are changing yeah. from the physical CDs to a streaming platform. Right. Yes. Yeah. Gina. Well, I have something else here. It's more of a supplement, though. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, 180 days of math. I think for I seventh just need and eighth this. grade. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to know at my math grade level. I, I thought know. about taking a placement <laughs> test, and then I thought, do I really want to know? <laughs> well, maybe you should pick one up and see how you do. But you can use this for there's actually 180 days of practice sheets in here. I've got the seventh um, grade. But I like this because a lot of customers call in and they say, oh, do you have a supplement for math for seventh grade or eighth grade? And we don't for and they've just come out with the reading too yeah. so it's nice to i, I like, guess spectrum has some things too yeah i like that they're going up to seven yes and eighth i do grade. Too. it's yes. so needed and it, it is. previously stopped at grade six and they must have got some parent right. feedback that said can you just give us a little more right little so more. it's yeah that's useful uh so the first 10 pages are the review of the previous grade levels okay. and then you get into just some straightforward instruction and then and examples. Just randomly flip here, what yep. am I gonna get? What do you got there? Yep, so there's the instruction, examples, and then just varied exercise problems for the student. Answers are in the back. It's very quick and easy very to do. Very tidy. This is yes. something that you can literally just hand Really exactly. To, yeah, to so your you can student. use it. They don't have to do it every day if you want to pick a certain concept or unit or use it as a diagnostic I test. Know, easy, Not necessarily yeah. front to back. You right. could just go right to what, yeah. what I, you need yeah, to work I on. Yeah, I would. Yeah. So that's oh nice. It's a, cool. A nice. Yeah, nice thing to have on your shelf. Um, so, and you have some other. Well, I've got something here for young kids in foreign language. Now, what a. But like that's the best time to introduce a foreign language is. is when they're young. So they're young. German, <laughs> French, Italian. Oh, I said Italian, Italian. like my grandpa. <laughs> Italian. So my my Midwest just peeked out there. And Spanish. Oh, wow. So we've got four languages. Now this is for oh. grades one through four. Only okay. the German has two levels. That came out first, and I think okay. they just said. Let's do something, you know, in these yeah. other languages. Mm. This is real low-key introduction to a foreign language. And what um, is this one called? Brilliant. Okay. So this I would not have gotten that from the German I cover. I don't speak German, but I was like, guys, <laughs> um, Briante and okay. Due. Oh, I just, <laughs> I, my accents are off just a tad today. Flamant, <laughs> Flamante. Um, so, so maybe I need to learn this. But this <laughs> is simple vocabulary. Uh, they're not getting into grammar yet. This is a, an introduction for first to fourth graders, mm -hmm. the teacher component, and it's designed to be used mm -hmm. interactive, parent, mm -hmm. kids. Um, cool on a co-op situation, but I've got the two levels of, this was interesting. Okay, so I've got two levels of German workbooks 
Okay. One level, we only have one level of Spanish, one level of Italian. What's missing? The French, French. workbook. It's not available yet. When it is, we'll okay. get it. Okay. So first, second graders are not going to do any writing. Third, fourth graders can use the workbook or... Those are lovely. It's nice. You want to show yeah. a little bit of that for me? Um, they're just real straightforward, yeah. nice elements of color, not too busy, not too nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, manageable. This is manageable foreign language. So the reason I got these um, across my desk again was that a lot of this stuff switched. There are physical audio CDs, okay. so you don't have to know the language. Um, but now you can get that on an MP3 file, and you can get the two books on PDF yes. files. So you okay. can get this entirely digitally now. Great for if you're, you know, traveling mm -hmm. and don't want to take books with you everywhere you're going. Right. Yeah. Right. Or, or you need to make yeah. extra copies Using of workbooks, it and it's PDF, so you just print as many as you need. Mm -hmm. And um, and I see they're just learning simple questions and words. Just a great in introduction. There. It's yeah. vocab. It's chit chat. It's my name is. It is entry level foreign mm -hmm. language that is not intimidating. And I kind of like the idea of do more than one with your little kids and see what they take a liking yeah. to, what they have a knack for. Um, you know, you've got three, three Romance Latin-based languages, and then you've got German, German. which is going to be very much different. like English, a lot choppier. Mm -hmm. So pronunciation-wise, your kids might just fall in love with a language, but then you know what to what to pursue, pursue yes. when they in get, middle school yeah. and high school. Right, yeah, when it really starts to, to matter. You when know, you want to do something a little credits. meatier. But, yeah. yeah, I but, feel like yeah. I'm forgetting something. What am I oh, forgetting? I know. Did we forget something? Oh, I think we this did. is it. I, I have this one, how to remember everything. That was <laughs> it. We remembered. That was it. Good job, Gina. You know what? I actually <laughs> bought this book because I need it. <laughs> is it for children? Is it for grown-ups? No, it's it... for grown-ups okay. or, yeah. Anybody? Um, yeah, like I guess middle-aged students, uh, high school, adults, anybody. Mm -hmm. But it was written by Jacob Weinstein. And he wrote this book because he said he's the most absent-minded person he knew. So what a perfect <laughs> candidate to write a book like this. On how to remember <laughs> <Right>. things. <laughs> so uh, he actually goes through just how to use uh, mnemonics and, and picture things in your mind. But the more bizarre, the better, because he actually says <laughs> when you imagine something visually enough, you fire up some of the same neurons you would if you were actually doing it. So there's a little, you know, I haven't gotten very far into the book, but on page 10, I was gonna show you an example of that. And so he uses, he said, pretend like you have to remember these codes without writing them down. So there, you have I, to have I them in your not. head. I would not. I know. I would not. I so, write everything down. Uh, right here, it's gone. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, cat and necktie. So he says, you know, if you if you have a cat and a necktie, you're probably not going to remember if you visualize those separately. This one's a little better with the cats on a necktie, or if a cat is wearing a necktie. But this one is fabulous. He's lying down with the cat on top of him, all entangled into the tie, chasing a mouse. So you're, you're picturing this, and you now there's birds firing yes. your senses. Yes. Yeah, so there's he's a story yelling. being played yes. out. Yes, exactly. So you're probably not going to forget that. Well, and you know who does that is Diane Craft and her right you're brain right. phonics. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when we she had does. the vocabulary cartoons, they had these ridiculous pictures. Oh, I love those. But yeah. the more ridiculous, the better it sticks. Right. So they work so on like names. What they are the have kind names, of things do you they remember? They have presidents. All kinds of, you know, just different. And he teaches you how to make a story out of it to remember several things. So, and, and that yeah. speaks so so much into like some of our favorite history programs are presented in narrative form, or right. that sassafras science is presented in narrative That's form. That's a very good point. It's yeah. Something about story allows mm. us it's to context. just. Yeah, it's a it context. context. It allows us it to is. remember these things. Yeah. So when so. you're creating the context yourself, you've got an additional level of stickiness mm -hmm. right. in your brain. And think about you're all these kids that are, have that right brain, brain tendency, yep. yeah. um, very pictorial learners, or they. we hear parents say they'll learn something today and I teach it again tomorrow, and it's gone. It's like mm -hmm. it fell out while they slept. Yes, right. these little tricks, they, I mean... This is one guy's and experience, but odds are this fella really was works. a right brain kid, yeah. you know, yeah. once so back in the day. We're going to be testing you book. now yes. on what you can remember Please here in the do. office. <laughs> so remember to give us a call. Yes, <laughs> or chat or send us an email. We're, we're happy to talk about anything that we can remember. <laughs> Which could change. <laughs>
Better write it a question in the comments so we right. don't forget. Yes. 